Hello, and welcome to Wall Street Training's exhibit on circular to references. Use beginning balance, you will not have a circular reference. No circ created. Why will a circular reference not be created when you are using beginning balance? Very simply, let's say you're in the first projection year of your financial model. You will use the beginning balance, which is simply last year's ending balance. Last year's ending balance, if it's the first projection year, is more or less a hard-coded historical actual number. That number is defined, it's in the bag, there's nothing to it. So therefore, nothing you do in that projection year will require you or will modify or update last year's ending balance. However, now when you need to calculate average balance, what exactly will you use? For average balance, you will need your beginning balance which we agree has no circ, and you will need your ending balance. Folks, think about this. You need your ending balance to calculate the average balance, but why does that create a circular reference now? That creates a circular reference because let's say you're in the second or third projection year, and now you say, I need to calculate what my average balance is. I need to therefore know what my cash availability is, which requires me to know my net income. Net income requires me to know interest expense and interest income, which requires me to know my ending debt and cash balance. But folks, think about that once again. If I know my ending, and cash, ending debt and cash balance, that means I would have had to go through the entire circle of reference, which means the following, turning back to our exhibit. If I need to know my ending cash and debt balance, that means I need to know my cash and debt sweeps, which really means I needed to know the amount of cash I have available or required before debt. Those numbers are in turn determined by my cash flow statement. We are now going in reverse order of our circular reference. That requires us to know our net income, but net income requires us to know our interest expense and income, which requires us to actually know our ending balance, technically our average balance, but keep in mind that ending balance is required to calculate the average. Once we need our ending balance, how do we determine that? Once again, we need to know that based on the cash availability, based on net income, interest expense, net income, and again, that is why you have a circular reference explained the opposite direction. And here, once again, is the only good reason why you would have a circular reference for purposes of building your financial model. This takes aside reasons why you need circular references in building sensitivity and scenario analysis, such as self-referencing cells, as well as LBO and returns, waterfall uh, calculations for your IRR, internal rate of return calculations. However, once again, this is a good reason why you have a circular reference. However, in general, you want to mitigate and avoid calculating an accidental circular reference because Excel will no longer warn you that you just create a circular reference if you had a pre-existing circular reference. And if that's the case there, we recommend that you build a very short, quick toggle where you say something like, if I select case one, I will have to calculate my interest, expense, and income on beginning balance. You will always update your model under this beginning balance scenario, making sure you have no circular references. Now, if you decide to get a little more precise with your numbers, because in order to calculate a more precise number with your model, you should use average balance because that more better approximates reality in terms of interest expense and interest income. And therefore, you would then turn your toggle to two to calculate average balance. Recall it's beginning and average, never beginning and ending. Then you start building your model and finalizing your numbers based off of average balance. And of course, you can refer to our exhibit our, on circular, on, excuse me, you can refer to our exhibit on Excel iterations to figure out exactly how Excel will now calculate the average balance based on the fact that you have a circular reference. Thank you very much.